Hi, Thomas the Hermit. I am a hermit and a man of prayer, and this is my YouTube channel. On my YouTube channel, I talk about uh, prayer, Catholic spirituality. I also talk about these troubling times that uh, we are living in, in the Catholic Church especially. Now, today's topic is about the mystical body of the Antichrist. Now, I did not create that phrase. I first heard that phrase from uh, Bishop Fulton Sheen, or should I rather say Blessed Fulton Sheen. And he talks about the invisible mystical body of the Antichrist, which is like the mystical body of Christ. And in all appearances, it seems to be that way. Of course, he's talking about a counter church. He's talking about the emergence of a false church. These last two weeks, I have been exploring this issue of what is happening when we begin to throw out the, the cross from Christianity. Um, when we take the cross out of Christianity, what do we end up with? Well, we end up with anti-Christianity, or we're heading towards what I call the Antichrist agenda. Now, the agenda is, is to create a one-world religion based on the universality of God. Now, I'm not against the universality of God, because, of course, God loves everyone, and God is much concerned with everyone in his creation. The problem is, is, and according to the catechism um, of the Catholic Church, Christianity is the greatest revelation of God through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the incarnation who came to the world. Now, when you pull that out of the equation, how is there a, a reconciliation between God and man? There is no reconciliation between God and man without the, the cross without the crucifixion and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So we're talking about a universal identity of God replacing Christianity, replacing the cross. Now I know that sounds a little bit ultra-religious, but you need to think about it and you need to meditate upon it and you need to pull away from it, okay? Because if it is a, the Antichrist religion, then you'll be following the Antichrist agenda. Now, I'm not saying that the Antichrist has been revealed. No one knows who the Antichrist is. <laughs> if it is, it would make all the papers, or at least us in the underground media, so-called, would be able to pick it up and we would be spreading the news. No, that has not happened, and I'm not claiming that it has happened. One of the cautions that the Holy Spirit has given me is, is that we still have some time, okay? We are hanging by a thread. We have been warned. It is time to get our house in order. And it is time to evangelize. It is time to reach out to others and tell them the good news that Jesus Christ died and rose from the dead. That is the cornerstone of the Christian church. That is the cornerstone of our creed. Those who are throwing it out, actually, I don't think believe it anymore. I think they think it's a myth. And I think that what they're trying to do, of course, is they're trying to create a, a utopian perfection in the image of man. And of course, that is the Antichrist agenda. Now, part of that Antichrist agenda is something they've been doing to the church for years. I call it community, community. I couldn't figure out how in all of our parishes we kept stressing community, but we weren't stressing relationship with God. See, when we have a relationship with God, when people of the parish have a relationship with God, you establish a community in the mystical body of Christ. Now, the stressing of community for community's sake, you know, we might as well go to a football game or, or, or a parade or some other, you know, social event. 
because that's what we're talking about. Now, do we experience the mystical body of Christ um, at the Super Bowl? I would hope not. Now, we might be experiencing the community of our neighbors and amen, but we are not gathered. We're two or three that are gathered in my name. There I am in their midst. Again, this is another elucidation. They don't believe in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. They believe in the brotherhood of man. So community, community, the stressing of community, 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 and not communion. See how he did that? When we receive his body and his blood, we become one body in Christ by the intimacy of Jesus Christ, the mystical body of Christ. Community and community, theologians, I'm tired of it. Huh? Priests, I'm tired of it. You need to back away from this bad theology. We are community in Christ. So what is this mystical body of the Antichrist? Okay, well, it's based on community, the brotherhood of man. It's based on the idea that when we all worship the, the, the one God, when we all acknowledge the one God, that we will establish peace upon earth, okay? That God is defined only by love. When I began to see the Vatican making a compact with Islam, you know, and, you know, number one, Islam is not going to establish peace with Christianity or the Jews or any pagans at all. You know, they can't even establish peace among themselves. They kill each other more than they kill anyone else in the world. Um, then they get busy about killing us because of what the Quran says. You know, this has nothing to do with the goodwill of human beings. This has to do with what the Quran says. Okay? And it believes in jihad, and it's written all throughout the Quran. I have looked at the Quran, and that's what I found. All right? There's no doubt in my mind that that's what it spreads, because that is their holy book. You know, our holy book stresses love of neighbor. Their holy book stresses jihad. Now, when, when they brought that together, you know, that is the utopian idea that we, all religions of the world can come together on the banner of the universality of God, okay? And anyone who begins to teach or preach that, all right, utopian liberals are going to be on board 100%. They're going to say, that's the world peace that we've been wanting. That's the end of war. That's the union of mankind. All of that will herald in the Antichrist agenda because there's no room for the cross in that. All there is is the aspect of a merciful God who, has, who is not looking out for justice. Human beings don't go to hell, according to these theologians. And this, this is their agenda. This is what they think. This is why everyone is going to follow this. They're going to follow it. Eventually, this is going to take over. This is going to be the message, the fake message of Christianity in the future. The great revelation is, is that God is merciful. Now, those same words are found in the Quran. Allah is merciful. Allah is merciful. And then it says, Allah... <laughs> He prefers carnage over idolatry. So, Allah is merciful until a suicide bomber wants to show up in your church and blow it up. But Allah is still merciful. He's getting rid of the infidels. Now, why is everyone going to follow this agenda? Well, think about it. Think about it. Okay? If, if we stress that that God is this abstract love out there in the universe that embraces all religions. If we stress that, then we bring all religions together. 
Now we know the Vatican is trying to bring all religions together by stressing the universality of God. Okay? Does that smell like somebody's trying to create man-made peace on earth without the cross? Think about it. Think about it. If I began telling you that I can bring peace to the whole world, okay, if you think I can bring peace to the whole world, you know, by signing compacts with Islam and by inviting Wicca to the Vatican and, and, and by, you know, bringing everyone into the church, that includes you traditionalists, by the way, you need to resist that <laughs> because if you get brought in, are you going to have to compromise? You know, are you going to have to compromise what you're doing? He says you won't. It's all the power of God being the universal God who loves everyone. And yes, he does. But this is a misinterpretation. This particular aspect of mercy has been overcharged. It is not the mercy that flows through the cross. It is just a concept that, that God accepts everyone no matter what they do. There is no retribution for evil, etc., etc. Now, the Antichrist mystical body basically means that, like the Christian body of Christ, they are connected in a spiritual way. Okay? Now, it is not the spiritual way that God wanted us to be connected in Christ's body and blood. Okay? They are connected in the evil of the demonic. Their sacrament, and some people have tried to say this, but we need to understand, the sacrament of the Antichrist agenda is population control. It has to do with abortion. It has to do with the killing of the unborn. You know, and in some cases they're even moving into infanticide as we see what is happening in New York. And no, I don't think that that is a stretch. If a baby is viable in the, uh, in the third trimester, if the baby is still viable and you, you kill it, then that is infanticide. And we have moved into infanticide in this country. We never thought that that would happen. But this is the sacrament of the mystical body of the Antichrist. Now, how does that work? Well, it works like this, okay? When we sin, we turn power over to the devil. When you sin extremely grievously, you turn a lot of power over to the devil. That is why they always sacrificed, you know, um, human beings in the, the, the pagan religious services. Because it was the most grievous of sin, and it gave the demons the most power. And that is the sacrament. So... The mystical, why, we need to pull away from. Now, we have the weeds and the wheat. What does that mean? Well, it was recorded from the beginning that an enemy came and sowed, you know, weeds into the wheat. And the master of the harvest said, harvest them together and then separate them. Okay? So the reality is, is that within our church, we are growing up with all of these weeds. And you need to decide what a wheat is. We need to decide what a wheat is. We need to find that out. We need to discover it. And I will give you a clue. It is centered upon the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. This is Thomas the Hermit. Say a prayer for me. Pray for one another on this channel. We are creating a fortress of prayer right here. First, we build up a stronghold. Then we will start praying for causes, okay? But we have to build one another up. Let's exhort one another. Let's comment. Let's put lots of comments down. Let's share what we're thinking with each other, okay? Let's build up the mystical body of Christ to combat the mystical body of the Antichrist. And if you think about it, say a prayer for me.